Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 Quick Tip. Today I'm going to show you an application that makes it super easy to create animated GIFs. You can record your screen and turn them into animated GIFs that you can share in tutorials, in emails, and also to add to your presentations. Let's check it out. First thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, cocos.com forward slash lice cap. I'll put the link in the description. So this is a free tool and it is available for both Windows and Mac. Download it, whether you need Mac or Windows. So I'm going to click on Windows, choose to install it. Uh, agree to all the things. You can choose to have a desktop icon or a shortcut. Click next and install. So now that I've installed the LiceCap application, you'll see I have this shortcut down here. So I'm going to click on this icon. I get this frame and I can move the frame anywhere I want. So what's great is that I can resize this to just show a certain portion of a screen. So I'm going to get this set up exactly where I want. So this is great if I'm going to naturally scroll down here, but you don't want that scroll to appear in your animated GIF or you want to remove different things. So I don't want those logos on there. I want to just get this portion of my screen. I'm going to click record. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me for a name. So I can, we're going to call this one demo. I can choose the file type that it's going to be saved as. So I can do it as a LiceCap file or a GIF. So we want to keep it at GIF. I can also choose to adjust to the settings. I don't change any of those. This is the important thing to note. As soon as I hit save, it's going to record and you get a couple of frames to get started. So I'm going to click save. And as you'll see down here on the bottom, I'm pre-roll one, two, three. So now it's starting to record so I can scroll through here, do it slow enough that it's not too distracting. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the page. And I'm going to choose to stop it. And just like that, it's recorded it. Now I want to point out that when you choose to record something, it's going to choose where do you want it. So I save mine on my desktop. You could create a folder where you keep those. I like to have it on my desktop so I can go back to it and grab it when I need it. So here is my demo. I'm going to open it up. And just like that, I've captured this animated GIF showing something. So it's more dynamic. It's great for quick tips for how to do something, how to for creating engaging presentations. So I can add this in there. I don't have to go live to a site. I can record that animation and it's going to automatically play in a presentation. So tell me, what do you think? Is this a great tool that you're going to want to use to level up your use of animated GIFs and presentations or to add animations to your website? I'd love to know in the comments. Let me know if you found this tip beneficial. Also, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel so you're notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.